This is another note relating to post-pack TPK post-processing of hieroglyphic data. So um, in this case, I have the problem. So to process the data, I have a problem with the data. So we can see here the real-time data is displayed in this color, and the post-process data is displayed in the green color. So the real-time is in this color and the post process is in green color so the real time is in magenta and um, post process is only probably 30 percent of the real time data uh, we don't know what is the reason so now i'm gonna try to fix the problem so i have two types of base station here one is using rtk nswest in western australia and the other one is using base station data provided by LANGATE and the outside of Australia. I did process the data using RDK NetWest base station, but it didn't work for me. So I cannot fix this because the, I think the RDK network, NetWest can only store the coordinates information for one year. So now the data was collected in 2019 and now it's 2020-21 so I, if I want to reprocess the data I have to use the base station from Langate or Yale Sound Australia and the base station location is actually further in comparison with the base station from IUK NetWest does that, does that mean the uncertainty is going to be higher so uh, firstly in order to find the base station for the data of this survey I need to check the time of the survey so I have here the time of survey is 2019 April the 30 so because I have the, the Python function so Python function here so I can convert this day into year of the day or Julian day and uh, GPS week so Julian day is 120 and based on that I can go to FTP data GNSS uh, GA government.au go to daily data uh, go to 2019 and go to the Julian day that I want to download data for and I look for the, the base station called Hillary 1 so the this is the base station so the information about the base station I can have some some here uh, probably is inside I don't know where I put it I, I forget where I put it but I think it should be inside writing chapter Maybe data, maybe uh, maybe uh, here, maybe and get input. Okay, Hillary here. Yeah. So this is the um, this is the uh, the base station that I'm looking for. The name of the station is uh, Hammersley 130. The code is Hill 1, which is in Hillary in Western Australia. So in here I can find the GDI 2020 uh, coordinate of that station. I can find the GDI 94 coordinate of that station. I can also find the height of that in, uh, in GDI 2020 and I also can find the height of that in GDA 2020 in GDA 94 and GDA 2020 so that means that the same data but it can be collected as a coordinate file can be stored in GDA 94 or in GDA 2020 so we need to check that when uh, the we need to know and check when is the coordinate will be in GDA 2020 and when the coordinate will be in uh, GDA 94 so now because all the mapping activity in Western Australia in Australia in general uh, have changed to GDA 2020 for this particular station I do an investigation and I found that all the observation was done before uh, by the by the end by the end of the Julian day 275 of 2020 is GDA 94 then from Julian day 276 2020 is GDA 2020 so based on that I prepare two two base station inside post pack so 
bull fox and bull here oh i didn't i cannot check it isn't it i can undo it so i can check that so i have inside here so based on the coordinate of each point i have uh hila v in gdi 2020 uh, gdi 94 here and also so the coordinates value and the height here reference to the ellipsoid is different to gdi 2020 so we can see the chain of it so in setting for a post pack of this, I'm going to use the frame is exactly GDI 94 or GDI 2020. But the epoch that I use is not the mission epoch. I use the epoch of that particular coordinate system. So how can I know that GDI 94 epoch is um, 1994? So I have the, uh, some description about the so I have some uh, description about the coordinate system here. So this is the definition of uh, ITRF. So this is the de definition of GDI 2020. So we can see the definition of GDI 20. We can see that the ITRF reference frame is ITRF 2015 or 40, the epoch 2020. So when I select here, the frame is GDI 2020 and the epoch is not the mission epoch, it's always 2020. 2020 zero, that means that mean the first day of 2020. And next is GDI ITRF. I will also have the definition of GDI 94 here. So for GDI 94, the reference frame is ITRF 92, but the epoch is 1994. So if I select this point, I can see that here the frame is GDI 94 and the epoch is the first day of 1994, which is uh, 1994.0. That is the information uh, explain why I set the coordinates of uh, this boy in GDI 94 and GDI 2020. Um, I don't need to save this, it's just an example. I can delete it now. Okay. So, getting back to the download here, I have the Julian day of the survey day is 120. So, I'm going to go to this FTP site provided by the uh, Yao China Australia government and I can download any location, any station available. So, I just search for Hillary 1, Hill 1 here. I and it lists all the point I need here. And I copy it to this location, which is inside log file, base, and land gate. So, I can see here, but um, so in po inside post pack, uh, I can see that post pack allow, uh, it doesn't allow it to put multiple raw post mv data or mobile raw mobile data file in one project so one project is only for one raw post mv raw data file only so if inside one project i have multiple data file and have multiple day i need to put it in multiple day does that mean i need to um, i'm not sure that the mission can be more than one day i think mission can be more than that but mission cannot be more than the gps week so it need to be started uh, within one gps week so because of that uh, that and then because the survey was done in western australia and western australia is actually uh eight hour offset to the local utc or uh, to the utc so that means there's a very high chance that the survey will be occur in one day local time but it's actually uh, in two day UTC time so to avoid the missing base station value base station information in post processing in post back what I'm going to do is, is I will look for the data for the day the survey occur and I also download the base station one day before and one day after so in this case the day equivalent to the survey day a Julian day 120 and then I also download the data for Julian day 120 21 and Julian day 190 and then when I download the data inside here you can see that uh, we have the uh, we have the value 
we have two actually two base station information and I can copy it all and download into my local data here but uh, when I check the size of it I can see that the size of this value this size of data is uh, larger than the normal size of data so in it can be in uh, the format of a tree file like this or it can be the format of uh, CR8 so because I see that the size of this is 4 megabyte so that means the information inside this is denser and that means it will be more helpful and more data for me to process the data so I'm going to select that and I'm going to select the day that the survey is occur then the day after one and the day before one and then I grab it into the post type processing software so I grab it in and I put it in so I will have um, actually 29 30 and 31 of April and after I import it in I can check the coordinate of the point it's actually one coordinate three time but one coordinate so that's good and then the name is Hillary the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rename this I'm gonna add suffix and I'm gonna say PDI 94 like that so I know that it will be to, to help me to make sure that this coordinate base station point is referred to GDA 94 the next step I'm gonna go to coordinate manager and inside here I'm gonna select uh, Hillary GDI 94 because the frame here is IJRF00 use mission epoch which is not correct uh, I need to view GDI 94 so I because I have a point here so I just select it so when I select it that means it's set to the frame is GDI 94 and it doesn't use a mission epoch the reason why because GDI 94 is a fixed frame it's a fixed coordinate system it doesn't change at all uh, only ITRF is changing because so that means we have different ITRF uh, with different epoch but for GDI 94 is only one epoch which is the first day of 1994 that's it and then I apply chain here and it's okay and then I select it as base station then it will decode the base station and then it will check in the information for that one I'm not 100% sure that this time is going to be working for me but basically the, this is the approach that I use to fix a lot of other project a lot of other survey that missing base station data when uh, doing post processing in postback so that's it and after this I'm going to go to uh, processing using infusion PPK or single base method and then I will do the normal procedure which is export the data and other procedure so the performance, uh, performance check here the Genesis QC statistic tells that the fixed solution is 93% no solution is 67% so lots of um, no, solution, no solution problem there. So let's go to Genesis Initial Processor and select Infusion Single Base and start processing. Uh, it says that the initial bay rover separation for forward and backward processing is 20 kilometers. This may lead to results of uh, inferior quality when processing a single base. We just continue. This will take a while, so I'm gonna pause the video now. Uh, yeah, it has the same problem which is a processing has terminated with one or more fatal error so we so it's aborted so I have the same issue with other database so that means not the base station problem this is the database problem so how about I'm gonna check what is the problem with the database we can see here so forward backward navigation Okay, so, so the, the threshold is too large. How about change the threshold inside processing setting? Inside DNS, level RAM, we put the threshold like that. The gap is set, level RAM mounting. Okay. It's always long. And so do the processing again. The same thing. Yes, the same arrow. Let's see what happened. Oh, the gap in navigation data. Gap. so basically the gap in there, there's a gap in there we don't know what kind of gap but there's a gap in there face fatal data so the primary GNSS undefined so let's say close it and check so I'm gonna pause this here 
So that means, okay, even I did that for other project is working, for, for this one is not working. So um, I'm going to have a look to see what is the problem and if I can fix this. I'm going to make another note to remind myself later if I use postpart in the future.